In this video, I'd like to show you some information about equations with just one variable. X is the only variable, no other letters in here, we've got X's on both sides. So information about equations with one variable that have infinitely many solutions. Which sounds kind of crazy that you could have an infinite number of answers. We get in the habit of solving these equations and you always end up with X equals 2 or X equals negative 5. Well, some equations aren't like that. Some equations can have infinitely many. I'd like to show you uh, what they look like and why that's the case. So you're cruising through your math homework, you come to an equation that looks like this, you're not really paying attention, you just get in the groove, you're doing exactly what your teacher told you to do, so you're going to solve this thing. And I want to get rid of the x term on the right, leaving just a number. I want to get rid of the numbers on the left, leaving just x, so I can find out what x is equal to. So let's get rid of 3x. Opposite of 3x is minus 3x. So 3x minus 3x is 0x, or just 0, it cancels. And if I subtract 3x from one side, I better subtract 3x from the other side to make sure the equation stays true. So I will subtract 3x over here. And what's left? And here's where the weird part starts to happen. Just like over here, 3x minus 3x cancels, well, 3x minus 3x is 0x over here too. And 0x is just 0. So the x term cancels away on this side as well. What's left? Negative 4 is equal to negative 4. Of course it is. Negative 4 is equal to negative 4. And so now you're thinking, well, this is weird. What's going on with this equation? If you wanted to keep going, you could. You're, you wanted to get the x by itself over here, move the numbers over here. So I could do plus 4, plus 4 if I wanted, and I'd end up with 0 is equal to 0, which, of course, is one of the most boring equations you could possibly imagine. But if you see something like this, you know something weird is going on. If this is the case, this is one of those infinitely many solution type of problems, type of equations. Infinitely many. Is that for real? Could we try any value in for x and both sides would always be the same? Let's try a few. So let's let's test some different values of x. I took that same equation, 3x minus 4 equals 3x minus 4. I repeated it three times. Let's see if this is true if we try x equals 2, x equals 3, and throw in a negative. Is it still true when x is equal to negative 5? So let's try it. I'm going to substitute 2 in for x anywhere it appears. So instead of 3 times x minus 4, it's 3 times 2 minus 4, and 3 times 2 minus 4, and now let's do the multiplication and the subtraction. 3 times 2 is 6 minus 4. 3 times 2 is 6 minus 4. And you can see this is going, where this is going. 6 minus 4 is 2 is equal to 2. So when x is equal to 2, yes indeed, both sides of the equation uh, are the same. Are both sides of the equation the same when x is equal to 3? it's kind of looking that way. If I substitute 3 in for x on both sides, I've got 3 times 3 minus 4 and 3 times 3 minus 4. Do the multiplication the subtraction. 3 times 3 is 9 minus 4. 3 times 3 is 9 minus 4. And 9 minus 4 is 5. And 9 minus 4 is 5. And when x is equal to 3, both sides of the equation are 5. So yes, this is a true equation, wh whether x is 2 or 3. What about negatives? Would a negative mess it up in some way? Let's try negative 5 in for x and negative 5 in for x. One last try, 3 times negative 5 minus 4 and 3 times negative 5 minus 4. You can see this is going to be the same on both sides. You get negative 15 minus 4 and negative 15 minus 4. 
Negative 15 minus 4 is negative 19. Negative 15 minus 4 is negative 19. And sure enough, even when it's negative, uh, when you substitute that negative 5 in for x, both sides of the equation are the same. This equation, 3x minus 4 equals 3x minus 4, will always be true no matter what value of x you choose. So there are infinitely many solutions, infinitely many uh, possibilities for x that would make this equation true. Let's look at this a little more. Why is that? Uh, if I look back at this original equation, a couple things that I notice right away. The x terms are the same on both sides of the equation. 3x and 3x are the same. The other thing I notice right away, the numbers are the same on both sides of the equation. Negative 4 and negative 4. When you solve this equation, the x terms cancel out, leaving just the numbers. And then the numbers can even cancel away, leaving just the equation 0 equals 0, which of course is always true. So what does that mean? Boils down to this. If the x terms on each side of the equation are the same, and the numbers are the same, as in the case here, the x's are both 3x, the numbers are both negative 4, then the equation will have infinitely many solutions. Pick any number you want, put it in for x, this equation will be true. Doesn't matter what the x value is. So, if you are doing your homework and you want to identify which equations have infinitely many solutions without actually going through all of this work, how can you tell just by looking that the equation will have infinitely many solutions? So here are three different examples. Remember what we just said. If the x terms are, uh, are the same on both sides and the numbers are the same on both sides, that equation will have infinitely many solutions. So when I look at the first equation here, the x terms are both negative 6, so that's good, but the numbers are different. So this is a different category of solution here for this equation. This is not going to be an infinitely many solutions uh, equation. Over here, right away I see the x terms are different and the numbers are different. Definitely not infinitely many solutions. Over here, the x terms are the same, the numbers are the same. That's going to be infinitely many solutions. If you were to go through and solve, solve that first one, you would see that the x terms cancel away. They are the same, leaving two different numbers being equal to one another. 5 does not equal 4. This is false. And in this case, this is a type of solution, or this is a type of equation that has no solutions. No solutions. It doesn't matter what value of x you choose, this equation will never be true. When we solve the next one, if we get, the, get rid of the x's on the right, get rid of the numbers on the left, you end up with x is equal to 2. So of all the infinite possibilities of numbers you could choose, only 2 would make both sides of this equation the same. Only the number 2 makes this equation true. So this has just one solution. And finally, this one here, this last one, the x's, the x's and numbers are the same, so the x's cancel, the numbers cancel. 0 equals 0, of course, is always true. So that one is infinitely many solutions. I hope that helps you understand these equations with infinitely many solutions. I also have made videos about this category of equation where there are no solutions, and I have a video about equations where there's only one solution. Feel free to click on the links that you see uh, if you'd like to learn more about those, and I hope these videos prove helpful.